Hello everyone, my name is Ambika and today we'll start this video to know about the scientific events that happen on 7th April. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. So NASA launched the 2001 Mars Odyssey spacecraft on a Delta II rocket in 2000. And Fred Wendorf accidentally discovered the skeleton while working near the Aswan Dam. And in 1978, President Jimmy Carter delayed the development of neutron bomb. The IBM system is a family of mainframe computer system that was announced by IBM on 7th April in 1964. We are all familiar with the moon bounce, but the sun bounce is much more obscure accomplishment. The first successful attempt was transmitted on 7th April in 1959 at Stanford University. And in 1959, a patent for improved photo engraving was issued to Sherman Fairchild and the first public display of a long-distance television transmission was viewed in 1927. And inventor Simon Lake was issued a US patent for his submarine locomotive in 1896. And a patent for justifying lines of type was issued to Talbert Langston in 1896. And chemist Joseph Priestley forever left England and travelled to the United States in 1794. And the first brain tumor operation under local anesthesia is performed by Dr. Kevin Pilney in New York City. And Mount Vesuvius erupted on 7th April in 1906. Contemporary reports claim approximately 500 lives were lost. And Granville T. Woods was patented an apparatus for transmission of message by electricity in 1885. An improvement in cotton cultivators was issued a US patent in 1874. And friction matches were invented by John Walker. On 7th April in 1827, records the first sale of such matches. And in 1795, the metric system was formally defined in French law. And these are the names of the scientists who have born on 7th April. And these are the scientists who have passed on 7th April. And thank you so much guys for watching this video and if you like this video please do like, comments and subscribe our channel and please share this video to your friends who are born today and who want to know what happened in the history of the science today. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.